Well, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning, and I just got back from a uh, <clears throat> Thursday night, 10 o'clock showing of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, right? And uh, I'm going to assume that everybody's watched the previous prequel, if you will, of Rise of the Planet of the Apes, because the new movie takes place 10 years after, and you get to see the monkeys and stuff. 10 years later, you get to see, we open up in the woods, where they escape from San Francisco, <clears throat> And we see the how they've built, you know, an ape city, if you will. They've built a home. Uh, the apes have families, and we see how they hunt and stuff. And that's what's really cool. When the movie opens up, first thing you kind of see is a throwback to the original Planet of the Apes. Uh, in the original Planet of the Apes, when the apes finally popped up, they were sort of hunting and hurting the people through the cornfields. And they, they had boas and stuff, and they were throwing them and catching you know humans in nets and everything like that and you kind of see where they learned to do this because this is how they hunt for food in the woods you know first thing and then you can see the family and everything they have so basically the movie starts out just blowing you away and that's that's the thing a lot of movies that start out that way you know kind of come in with a punch this movie has a quality all the way through it story wise script wise everything like this it was just a really great satisfying movie story-wise what got me is that there's an ape in there a chimp who was uh you know used as experiments in the first movie you know you, you saw him he's all scarred up and he'd uh, been experimented on so many so much that he knew just to lay down and let him do what they were going to do and that kind of taught him hate you know he really hates the humans and his name's koba now, Caesar leads the monkeys, if you saw the first one, leads, leads the apes, he's their leader, you know, he's the one that's liberated them and, and, you know, exposed them to the gas that made them all smart and led them into the woods and, you know, sort of guided this, this whole culture that they made. And then he has a family and he has sons. And this is where the story was really, really cool for me because I was watching this and I'm like, man, there's, there's a quality here because Koba, Caesar and Caesar's son, that whole dynamic of those three apes ends up having like a Shakespearean quality to it. Um, Koba is trying to relate to Caesar's son because Caesar's son now has scars from being attacked by a bear. Koba's all scarred up and he kind of uses it as a door saying it makes you tough and looks at me. And the whole time Caesar's son uh, is, I think his name was Bright, what was his name in that? Bright eyes? Blue eyes? I can't remember. But anyway, he was, you know, sort of rebelling against Caesar through the whole thing, you know, against his father, you know. So that had a really interesting dynamic. So they have a tension in the whole story because you already know how this is going to turn out. You already know they're going to go to war. And, but, you know, throughout the movie, there's this tension and you have this old no sense four or five times on the human side and the ape side where you can see where they could have lived in peace. This story drags you in where you kind of want them to get along all of a sudden. You know, I mean, I go in cheering for the apes, but this one you're just kind of like, oh no. And then again, you have, oh no, again. Um, you know, just over and over with the little plot twists and stuff, and it sort of all makes sense. I mean, you just kind of want to smack some of these assholes on, on both sides. Um, and, and you just know where it's going, so they draw you in, and you're just sort of like, you know, you're reacting to the movie. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, because you, you know where it's going. And then when War finally starts out, it was done really, really well, because uh, it's a bit more of an even fight there at the beginning until one of the sides gets an edge. Um, and it makes perfect sense, but they turned Koba, Koba, going back to Koba, they turned him into some kind of really vicious little warlord almost. I mean, I was seeing like Genghis Khan and stuff, you know, with him uh, on the horse to, uh, I mean, just leading the packs, going in there. I mean, he was going to take on everybody himself if he had to. But he had two, 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 uh, yeah, two machine guns in each hand riding that horse, kicking ass. Other apes were getting blown all to pieces and stuff, and the humans were putting up a better fight than you thought. And, uh, he's psychotic he is psychotic you know he is just he will take them all on on himself and uh it, 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 oh and that's where we're going to stop right there because i don't want to get into spoilers but basically solid script a lot of death a lot of substance 
you get pulled into these these apes as characters you know where you're just invested in them and that's another thing I kind of want to point out um, I think it's Weta the people that does the uh, computer animation for it you completely forget that this is computer animated these apes they have done such a good job on these apes uh, working with you know the actors and everything that were playing the apes and stuff but the computer had a CGI in this and everything like that it's the first time I feel like CGI has been perfect because you completely forgot that these were CGI apes completely forgot it these are living breathing you know the hair shedding animals you know I mean just really well done so uh, yeah you completely forget it you are sucked into this movie you are in this world and you get a quality story I'm, I'm really thinking this thing should win some awards for picture of the year or something but you know it'll never happen it's a sci-fi movie you know so go see it you might enjoy it and uh, I'm really satisfied with it uh, I can see me watching this movie maybe two or three more times but you know alright guys go watch Don the Planet of the Apes money well spent much better than Transformers